Hi, Trevor. What are you doing? Hi. Unpacking some of our items that we packed for New York City. This looks beautiful, Lee. Thank you so much. Wow. Look at the view. Don't judge the inside of it because. Good morning from New York. I'm with Trevor today. Hey. We're going to the Chelsea Flea Market, and we're also going to this place called Show Place that I was told to head to. Apparently, Nate Burkus has an antique booth there, which sounds really fun, and there's other antiques and such. Trevor, what are you looking for? I'm looking for just beautiful vibes. Yeah, beautiful antiquities, yes, if you will. That yeah, too. Yes. Uh -huh. That's what I was thinking for you. <laughs> we're in Washington Square Park right now. That's good. Look how insane this architecture is. Oh my gosh, even the coloring, like the dark green windows with like the dark brown brick, all the same glass, leaded glass, and all of these like peaks up here are insane. Like this is so pretty. I'm assuming this is probably a church. Okay, just made it to Show Place in New York and it's basically a bunch of, as you can see, like little booths. Oh, and this right here is the Chelsea Flea Market, which sadly is pretty much coming to a close. It rained all day today, so I actually don't think a lot of the vendors came out. I walked by, but there was only a couple booths and everyone's kind of packing up at the moment, so sadly I missed that. Oh yes, I found the good floor. Floor three has all of the antiques. Oh my gosh, look at this humongous like bust piece. That Art Deco light. Look at this bench. I have never seen anything like that. No, Trevor, you need this little chair over here. That's so cool. A little palm chair. That's amazing. Should I try to sit in it? No, it says no sitting anywhere. Oh. Literally every furniture says no sitting allowed. It's also $28,000. No, it's not. You're lying. You want to put that right $28,000. It's giving um, expensive. That's called lots of items. I found the Nate Burkus booth. This would be Nate Burkus's booth. Look at it. Oh my gosh, these fireplace tools. This is so cool. I feel like I'm in his home. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those hands holding the stones. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> it is. A French paper mache mannequin. Oh, Trevor, you need this lamp. Oh, Wait. Wow. Look, she's literally wearing like a latex outfit. That is so good. That's new glare. Oh, I like this coffee table. We watch you all the time, Drew. Oh my god. Hi guys. Hi guys. What's your name? Miss Goldie. Miss Goldie. Yes. Look, I met Miss Goldie in New York. Yes, yes, yes. My husband is in the car. We watched They literally just the drove time. by and they're like, Drew! Yes. <laughs> Straight out the oh window. Nice to meet Hi, you, brother. Nice to meet you. What's Dennis. your name? Dennis. Dennis? Oh my this yeah. is Dennis and this is Miss Goldie. Yes, hello. We New watch York. you all the time, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh Thank gosh. you. Are you post this? Are you yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, of course. Hello. Yeah. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Yes, hi Trevor. Hello. actually always wanted to see this coffee table. If you guys remember, I used it in a What Would Drew Do episode in the past. It's really beautiful. It's like a horn. I think it's a faux horn coffee table. I love the blocky shape of it. And look at this bar. I've seen this on their site too. CB2 has some great pieces. They really do, like really unique items. Oh, this Burlwood console. Not this antique bench, just on the streets of New York. I want these cobblestones for my like, I want to get these cobblestones and pull them out of the ground. Do you think that they'll allow me to do that? How's your fruit? Delightful. Scrumptious? Scrum diddly umptious. Look at this crocheted sign. Oh my gosh, I just came across the Jenny Kane home store. <gasps> wow. I just love a curated store. They're like downstairs has a skylight too. 
So in the living room, guys, I want to do a big tree, of course, but I think I want to do a faux one because I just can't keep real trees alive. Like, I already know that. I've tried it multiple times. But this, see this large stick here? This is exactly what I want to find in LA to then mount in a pot and do my, like, faux tree tutorial. But something like this, I feel like would be so much more unique than just your traditional faux tree, you know? I just stop at every doorway. Look at this detail, like the wood detail with the brass. This is so pretty. I love how you can see all the different grains and it's like a checkered pattern. I am back in Los Angeles. It might not look like it, but I am. And I'm at the stone yard today. They actually went ahead and templated the countertops before I left to New York. And today we are laying the templates on the slabs to get the countertops cut, which is going to be the first step of the process. And then we're going to do the backsplash once the countertops are cut. So I'm going to head in, check out the templates for the countertops and get those placed. Look at this new vintage Dior bag Marie got while we were in New York. I'm literally obsessed. Oh my gosh, look, there it is. They probably hate me right now because I'm asking them if they could literally split all of the slabs in half because the middle looks like it has more dark veining in it. And I want to see the middle, but they're so nice. They're moving all of them for me. Okay, so this is what that slab looks like in the center. This was the darker side that I was seeing peeking out of the edge. I thought it might have gone like more so crossed, but it doesn't. However, it's still an option that I can keep in mind. So here are those templates that were created last time. And essentially we're gonna be able to lay these out to kind of get the placement of the marble slab, like where we want the countertop to be cut. And then essentially it's probably gonna flow directly into the backsplash above, but the backsplash will be cut for later. Like I like this whole chunk here. That's perfect. We'll do the counters from that corner and that corner up there. Okay. And then the backsplash will be this corner and this corner. I like how this would then tie into some of the backsplash. Like you get but some of that. This is like so, like same colors, but it's variation. So oh, it for looks sure. like. But at least it still has the color. Well, it's like kind of ties it to the it counter. It in, yeah. yeah. Oh, right there. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, like that to me looks even better. Okay. I like that more. Let's, let's leave it on there. How are you feeling about your slabs? I love them. Finding the placement at the moment. See how this one doesn't have as much of the purple at the bottom, but it has more of the darker kind of going throughout here. Whereas the other ones have more of the chunky purple towards the bottom and lighter towards the top. So I might be able to do a mixture of both to get like a really variated marble look throughout. So something I haven't told you guys about is that we are actually doing the sink in marble as well. So he's going to craft the entire sink out of marble. This is going to be our bottom section of the sink. So the bottom where all of the dishes sit, of course, there's going to be a drain right around here. And then the sides are also going to be created from marble and it's going to look fully seamless with the countertop. So it's going to be like mitered and then kind of just flow down like a waterfall. This piece down here and this piece is for the coffee bar. So this will be on the counter section. This will flow up and this is gonna be at the top of the uh, backsplash. And then right over here we have the oven. So if you could picture the oven would be inside of this section. We have two pieces on either side and then this is gonna flow all the way up the backsplash which is gonna look so good. These two little paneled sections are for the breakfast nook area, so they're gonna be little like countertop pieces. And then last but not least, our main area. This is the main countertop, uh, the long one where the sink's gonna be. Essentially, this is going to be the right side. So this is gonna go on the right side of the countertop. This is gonna go on the left side of the countertop, and then the sink will be in the middle of that. So the sink will actually be cut right out of here, and then right out of here. They're just kind of flipped at the moment because I like these on the edge more. And then the backsplash is going to be this section here and it's going to flow into the side piece and there's even going to be a shelf on top as well. So it is going to be intense. Lots and lots of movement, but I'm so excited about this. And some of you guys might be asking like, Drew, you have so much extra marble. And I actually purchased extra marble because I wanted to get the best cuts for the countertops. And I'm going to be turning all the remnants into cutting boards, coasters, and random pieces for the shop, you guys. Omar is going to do that for me, which is going to be so cool because we're going to use up all of it. And then it's going to be like exclusive Calcutta Viola marble from my home sold in the store, like in cutting board form. How great would that be? So we are going to use every single little piece of this marble. Do not worry, you guys. Look at Thor today. Oh, he likes that. <laughs> he's smiling. He's so cute. I'm obsessed with him. Thor, did you just pee on my marble? Hey, sorry. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's like, this is my marble now. Honestly, he can have it. Like, he can have <laughs> anything. 
Good morning, everybody. Running into some problems this morning. Hopefully this music isn't copyright and I'm turning it down. I just got back from New York and the power's not on in either of the units and the guys are coming today to start sanding the floors. There's no power. So how are they gonna do that? I'm on the phone with them right now because I don't know why it was turned off. I transferred everything into my name. It's hard being a homeowner. Like normally I call a landlord. While I'm on hold, I'm gonna start moving some of these items because I need to get them all out of the way at least if the floors are gonna get done. I'm here with Avi. He is going to be refinishing the floors these next two weeks. And you said what kind of flooring is this? It's a rigid corazon. It's quartered flooring, which is you said from the center to the tree. Yes. Like the correct. most, it's the best type of wood. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, which is crazy. I had no idea what type of wood this was, you guys. It has like these really unique grain patterns in it. And I wasn't sure if that was from like who previously sanded it, if like the sandpaper did that to it. But he actually says that this kind of wood is quartered oak wood. So there's different grades. So there's number one, number two, select and better, and then number four is quartered, which is apparently what the flooring is throughout the entire home, which is the best type of wood flooring you can have, which is great. I had absolutely no idea. So these are gonna look so good when they're done. <laughs> Yay! This is the machine that they're gonna be using to sand the floors. McKenna did tell me about how hard it is to sand floors and get them refinished, so you know I decided that I was going to outsource professionals, and I'm very, very excited. I just got home to a very exciting package. You might be able to tell, uh, but it does coincide with the countertops where we just were. It is the faucet. Oh my goodness. Look how stunning this unlacquered brass faucet is, you guys. I went online and I looked for a brass faucet. I knew I wanted something. If we're investing in this marble, like I'm investing in a nice faucet as well for the kitchen. And so I went online, I was looking for unlacquered brass faucets, something similar to this, and they were like $1,200 everywhere. I ended up finding this one with the sprayer for $400 on Etsy. And I thought that was a pretty great deal. It's beautiful. So you can actually kind of customize the options as well. I opted for these handles. They also have just like a normal handle and I think like a circular one. And I also opted to add on these bent out sections. So you can have it go straight down if you want to. Um, you can actually have them turned inwards as well. So if you wanted it to be like even smaller and kind of go in, that's also an option. But I just love this. And look at the patina on the metal already. For it, I know that you're supposed to care for this kind of um, brass as well. So I'll have to figure that out. If anyone has any tips, that would be amazing. And then how gorgeous is this stunner? I just called it a stunner. I meant sprayer. I mean, it is a stunner, but look at Oh, I'm gonna literally be spraying water like in the kitchen just for fun, just to use this. It is so pretty and then it has the hose. I genuinely cannot wait to see this. Now I also found out that I'm gonna need to be ordering a sink drain. So I'm actually gonna order it from the same place. This is all from an Etsy shop called Inside East, I believe that's what it was called. I'll link them below for you guys because they have a ton of really great unlacquered brass items like for your kitchen, bathroom, whatever it might be. This is not sponsored, um, but they're a great company and I got it really quick. It ships straight from Morocco. I feel like the screenshot actually shows what I mean by the floors look just lifeless. They just seem dry to me, like dry, lifeless, and something about them, I just feel like they need a little bit of oomph, you know? They just need to be refinished. They need a new staining. And I also feel like adding a slight bit of warmth to the flooring as well, or into the stain that I opt for, is also just gonna bring out a little bit more of that grain and tone. Um, currently, it's just kind of hidden. Oh no! 
I just got a haircut. I couldn't even stand looking at myself in the clips. I looked at them this morning. Oh my gosh, there's a bee on my car. Just flew away. Anyways, um, I couldn't stand my, I, my hair was just, everything was just crazy. Um, I'm heading back over to the house right now. They've actually been sanding for a couple of hours and I just want to see the progress so far. All right, just made it back over. surface space so that's what they're gonna do in here next they're working so quick guys they just started today hello from another hotel room i am one that doesn't really travel very often but for some reason these past two weeks since i haven't been on the channel very much i have had so many travels but i'm so ready to get back to the house i thought i thought i saw a squirrel literally about to jump through the window Thankfully, it didn't. I actually got invited to the YouTube Creator Summit. You guys, this is my little badge that I've been wearing for the past couple days. It just actually ended today, and I'm heading home in a bit so I can start working on the house. But I didn't intro, I didn't outro this video, and I just finished wrapping it up. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, to give you a little update on everything, I believe the countertops are actually completely cut already. So in the next video, I'm hoping that we're gonna get install. Actually, I don't think we're gonna be able to. I'll have to ask if you can install tomorrow. So I'm gonna see if you can install tomorrow, but if not, then that's gonna probably happen in the video after. The floors are also being sanded still. They have to go through a couple of phases of being sanded. So you start at like a heavier grit, then you go to a higher grit and keep going higher until you have a really smooth surface. And then we're gonna test out a couple of stains. And then once the countertops and backsplash and all of that is in, I am ready to dive into that kitchen design because the countertops really are what I need to have done first before I can start picking and selecting everything else. I'm just someone that needs a visual I need to see what I'm looking at first especially this is my first ever full kitchen makeover design process thank you guys so so much for watching today's video I'm gonna have another one for you guys this Sunday and we are back on schedule I have no more travels planned for quite a while I'm actually going on a little two-day trip that is a huge lie I just lied I actually have a little bit of vlog footage from the creator summit that I'm gonna put in the next video for you guys um, but for now I'm actually gonna be heading back to LA gonna insert this outro in there edit it up export it and and share it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, um, and I will see you guys on Sunday.